That's a very humane pitch. But that's no excuse for taking advantage of the poor people in the community. Do you want to know what I think? Yeah. I think that it cheapens humanity, allowing people to sell their own body parts for a few bucks. No, you really think I'm the problem? No, the system is already corrupt. No, by the government, the hospitals, the, the doctors. No, the system isn't, isn't built for the individual. The system is built for those who know how to break the system. That's why so I provide my service. Now, how, how is it different from the wealthy 1% who, who, who give a million to a hospital, who, who buy a, a, a new research facility in exchange for a ticket to the front of the line? No, that's real corruption. No money, no power, it buys, it buys everything. And so I allow the little man to collect their little money and have a chance at life, at living, like the unreachable 1%. Then you say, uh, you say I'm a criminal. I'm the only thing that works in this fucked up business. Okay, not only do you have every law enforcement agency looking at you, but you have cartels from all over the globe thinking that you're going to run a, a billion dollar business. Are you not afraid? Afraid? Every, every question you ask is a death sentence. Every word you write, it could be your last. And let me ask you a question. That is it, uh, is it worth it? I mean, if this, if this story could change your life, but I was to go to prison or be, be beaten and burned in the streets, now would it be worth it? See, that's, that's why sometimes People do bad things for good reasons. Look, I, uh, all I ask is that you take in the facts. I mean, I see the truth. Why are you doing this? Like, why do you care what other people think? Or, or, or even what I write? Perspective, James. Well, you have the opportunity to give the people a life saving truth. While well, you make millions of dollars. <sighs> Listen. I'm only really tired of counting down the days to your little girl's funeral. You give me a call, I'll give you a good deal. Do you know what it's like to see somebody you love dying in front of you, knowing there's nothing you can do about it? Do you know how that feels? Yeah, I do.